kind, just to kind of delay it just a little bit more. All right, so here we got a cobalt three-spoke wheel. Um, I used a Sunfire clock spring, which has four extra wires for their steering wheel control setup, which is this kind of like pod that bolted to the bottom of the Sunfire steering wheel. But used that clock spring and wired it up to the cobalt switches and used a SWI or PAC I think yeah PAC steering wheel interface for the radio so There's a little bit of a delay sometimes. So now, these buttons can be programmed as anything. Uh, I chose obviously volume up, volume down, track up, track down, and then I use this as a mute. I'm pretty sure that's the GM OnStar. Just turn this down a little bit more. Pretty sure this is the OnStar button, but these all run on the same wire. So you can depending on the interface that you got, the interface that I have, you can program any button for any resistance. So you can make this, I don't know, you can make that track up, this could be track down, this could be um, preset up, which would be like a folder up, which would be like this button on an Alpine stereo. It's like folder button. And uh, you know, in the directions, there's a um, programming procedure that you have to go through. And um, you know, you can set any button for whatever you want. And that's just for this switch. These two switches are actually not on the same wire. Um, this controls the cruise, and it has a couple other different wires that this uses, but the way that I've wired this, uh, you actually only need to use two of the Sunfire wires. And if you wanted to ditch the illumination, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But no, the flash is on. Hold on. Okay. There we go. There you go. You can kind of see that a little bit. And I'm not sure if all of the switches are red or not. I'm actually going to look into seeing if I can find a white one. Or maybe some way of changing what color they go as. So, kind of out of focus, but you can see the glow there. If I turn the light switch off, they turn off. Just like they should. Stock. Um, so this switch runs on a couple other wires that you could run for something else. This is a positive switch. When you push that, that kind of completes a positive circuit. Um, these two buttons, not exactly sure what they do, I kind of forget, I, there was a lot of wires I had to go through yesterday. Info and return is a ground button, um, so if you want it to be sneaky and run like a, a, a launch control or some kind of toggle that needs a ground, um, you could hook this up because it operates on its own separate wire. So that's pretty cool. So if you wanted like a launch control, you can build it right into the steering wheel. So uh, let's see if I can get the airbag off. Believe it or not, it's actually really easy on the cobalt wheel. There are holes. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. There's a hole right there, and there's another one on the other side. You just take a steering wheel, or a uh, screwdriver, rather. Stick it through the hole, and bam, the airbag is off. So what I did to simplify the wires here, here's the airbag wire. We're going to have to use a different connector because the cobalt airbag has a different connector on it. What I did for power is the J body has this little like twist lock thing that goes in there um, and it connects to a dedicated power source for the steering column. The cobalts don't have that. It's normally built into this harness here. You can actually see that pink wire. That's supposed to be your 12 volt in and there's a brown wire that comes off of that that powers the horn, but we don't need that. So what I did instead is I cut and spliced. Yeah, this looks really great, but trust me, it's, it's pretty stable. Um, I splice this wire into the power feed that goes to the cobalt wheel, so I still have my horn function. Um, and then what I further did was I tied that power into the power needed for this. So that frees up one of the wires for the, um, for the clock spring. Then what I also did, you need a ground, so I just grounded it right here on the steering wheel because this is a great source of ground because there's, you know, it's obviously attached to the chassis. So 
the ground is also on this lug right here. So I have both my grounds right here, right for the steering, for the steering, uh, for the uh, horn rather. I have the ground for the horn right there. The power for the the switch is tied into the horn, and the ground for the switch is also into the chassis. So that frees up two wires. So now I got two empty spaces in that Sunfire clock spring if I wanted to hook up these these two switches here. Um, actually no I can only use one or the other because they both ground they're just different amounts unless you had some kind of interface that could differentiate between different resistance values uh, this is a lesser resistance this is a greater resistance um, I could hook it up to something I guess I don't know but the cobalts have throttle by wire so hooking up crews for them is a little bit easier and then to and obviously the airbag is not hooked up yet I still need to mess with that um, I got a connector for the uh, interface, they're just kind of twist locked together right now. It's kind of shoddy, but whatever, gets the job done. And then here's the back of the airbag, Cobalt airbag, Corvette airbag. The only thing that's really different is the emblem, and you can swap them out anyway. Um, you got stage one and stage two. I'm gonna be hooking up this, which is uh, stage one. Um, you know, that way I will have an airbag if I ever get into a front end collision. And then you just line it up on the holes there and just push it in and the horn will honk and you'll look like an asshole. But that's it. So there you have it. Just to kind of show it some more. Again, there's a little bit of a delay, probably because my phone is not only taking the video but also playing the music. So not only do I have to wait for the interface to tell the radio what to do, I have to wait for the radio to tell the Bluetooth module to tell the phone what to do. So it's kind of a little bit of a lag there. It's, it's not that bad most of the time, but sometimes it won't acknowledge the commands. Every once in a while. But there you have it.